teamwork has been the key word for everyone, but I know you're keen to point out that actually this team's got some outstanding quality. Yeah, you don't win the Premier League by, by just having teamwork. Um, it's the best league in the world with, with some of the best players in the world, so you can't just say it's teamwork and togetherness, which is which has helped you win the league. You know, we've got the PFA Player of the Year in our team, we've got the Football Writers Player of the Year in our team, we've got the Barclays Premier League Player of the Year in our team. Um, four or five players in Team of the Year and probably could have been a couple more. So, you know, we've, we've got great players here and that, you know, amongst other things is, is why we've ended up as being champions. Yeah, the togetherness and, and the fact that we're all normal people and we all get on well will only go so far, but, you know, the fact that we've got the ability and the strength and depth in the squad that we have is is obviously the main ingredient you need in, in order to lift it. So I guess the question is, what next for, for Leicester City and Andy King together? Yes, that's what I'm kind of asking myself as well. You know, Saturday was the best day of my life. How are you going to you know, go about topping that? But I think it's just enjoying and important that we enjoy the moment for now. Because um, moments like this in football don't come around very often, especially like a club like Leicester winning, winning the Premier League or... Um, or anything like that. So it's important that we enjoy it while it's here, but know that next season we need to come back and, like I've said already, there's going to be teams trying even harder to, to make sure they beat us next year and, and trying to take that crown off it. But for now, it's it's about enjoying it, enjoying everything which comes with it because you know you never know when something like this is going to happen again. And just finally, it's clear from the journey you've been through and, and how you talk that you've got a real connection with these Leicester City fans. So after, after these three trophies, have you, have you got a message for them and, and the emotions that they're probably feeling right now the same as you? Yeah, I guess so. You know, they they were obviously all willing me to to score like I did on Saturday, which which was massive, and and that was the the showpiece. You know, Saturday was the showpiece and the, the game which everyone wanted to be at, and the game where we listed the trophy. But for me, it's the support which I've had out throughout the whole you know nine ten years um, away at Stockport, away at Hereford, away at Stoke, and and places like that, or the ones who were there at Cardiff when we lost some penalties, the one who were there at Watford when we lost. Um, just a massive thank you, really, to. To everyone for all the support they've given, it's it's something which will live long in my heart, and you know I'm I'm very grateful for all of that.